Emma Stone is on the phone. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so glad you called us back. I'm so glad you tweeted at me. For these Y101 DJs, that call may well have been their Schwab's drugstore, the moment they were discovered by Hollywood. Next stop, the Mayflower Cafe, as extras in the movie The Help. So you talked your way into uh, being an extra in a movie. Yes. And it worked, obviously. <laughs> so what does that uh, tell people? We're powerful. No. <laughs> no, that we beg a lot. Filming had started in the city, and we found out um, Emma Stone was on Twitter, so we had all of our listeners tweet at her, and she saw it. And they had her tweet the phone number at us, and she called us, and we talked to her for a little bit, and I guess she was the one that we read Brokeback Mountain for, and she thought it was great. Okay, all right. Let's just start right here, Murph, okay? Okay, all right, that sounds good. We even got the music and everything. Here you go. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, go. You've been in Mexico, Jack? Yeah, I'd been. What's the problem? I gotta say this to you one time. Jack, I ain't fooling. What I don't know, all them things I don't know could get you killed if I should come to know them. I'm not you. I can't make it on a couple of high altitude meetings once or twice a year. <laughs> You're too much for me, Ennis. I wish I knew how to quit you. And then we embrace. Yeah, and then we embrace. That was phenomenal. I had no idea. <laughs> we got thumbs up from Emma Stone. That's fine with me. That's amazing. So so now you need to work your magic. We can actually be like way, 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 I mean way back in the background. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm going to let them know that you just did that and how phenomenal you were. Okay. That you will be Excellent. receiving a call. And just minutes later, director Tate Taylor, a Jackson native, called and offered them parts as extras. We have a scene here at the Mayflower Cafe that, that is pretty pivotal to the script, uh, to the scene, to the book, um, where it's sort of uh, Skeeter's first date or the date where she finally kisses, spoiler alert, uh, her love interest in the book. And they, from what I remember, they someone sets down a plate of oysters and Emma Stone's character Skeeter is not... Um, impressed by them, and her uh, male counterpart is urging her to try them. That seems to be what I remember from the scene. But uh, and we're just sitting back there at the counter, um, just as patrons, lunch counter patrons. We had a blast. Long days. Long it was very. Day. It was very long. Yeah, we were out here. Uh, I mean, we got here at probably two o'clock that afternoon or so, and I guess it was probably after eleven o'clock at night that we left. But we can't complain because there were other extras that were here longer than that. Yeah, we were just sitting at that uh, at the lunch counter in there, and drinking our O'Doul's and smoking our herbal cigarettes. <laughs> and uh, you know, they would reset the scene. You know, we we drink, they'd shoot, and then they'd cut, and then they'd reset the scene. Empty glasses, new glasses. You know, another full. You know, make sure the pitcher is where it should be in every shot, and um, give us new cigarettes. Empty the ashtray. I mean, they make it look spotless, and then start the scene again, and then do it all over again you know they must have done it i don't know four or five times maybe yeah. it kind of reminded me of a pit crew at a nascar race where they rush out real fast they do everything real fast and then they're out that's exactly what it was like guys in the 1960s in jackson just didn't have sideburns this long so they just took them off and i felt naked my cheeks were cold for you know for a while after that so i missed them <laughs> kind of the uh, meryl street um yeah you know i'm a method actor so i was like you know what do what you got to do shave my head if you have to and they also i mean they slicked it down like george mcfly style in uh back to the future like it was like it, it stayed like that for a long time it was like a helmet and, uh, and Nate, you also uh, had to make a little concession there. I did. I had to shave my goatee. I, I, obviously, I don't have it right now. Um, my wife is not happy about that, but she's a big fan of the book, so she didn't really care. Seeing how many people are involved with it and just being around the people and asking them questions about how movies are made and just seeing the magic happen, as cheesy as that sound, was a very cool thing to see. Would you do it again? Absolutely. Absolutely. Tate, if you're watching, <laughs> we'd like to do it again. I hope uh, Mississippi and the Jackson gets a lot more films that we can weasel our way into. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, hey, we're available for more movies. This time we'd actually like a speaking part, though, so we can become a member of uh, SWAG. SAG. SAG. You get in SAG, and then you get the SWAG. <laughs> Screen Actors Guild, that's right, it's not SWAG. <laughs> to watch other behind-the-scenes stories about production of The Help, go to newsocracy.tv and like Newsocracy on Facebook. For Newsocracy, I'm Jim Albritton reporting.